Hey guys, welcome back. Thank you so much for being here. So in today's video, we're going to be doing a two-day wear test on newest Huda Beauty stick foundation. And you know me, I love me some foundation and I was really excited about this release. Haven't been excited about a foundation release in a minute. So this was exciting. So I'm going to be showing you a two-day wear test on the foundation. Uh, my first impressions upon application and everything like that and how it reacted to my combo skin. So if that's fun and this is your first time here with TV. thanks so much for kicking on my channel i hope you stay subscribe for more click that red button below and also come over to my instagram because over there we do tons of fun things i keep you posted on makeup sales new makeup releases how i like how i didn't like a product and everything like that so go follow me over there and without further ado let's start Alrighty, my friends let's begin and as i mentioned i love me some foundation every time my foundation comes around in sephora i do want to try it and this was no F section i was actually quite excited for it i've never tried her other foundation it's just the claims on it don't appeal to me full coverage thick i don't know heavy cakey all those things that they just don't appeal to me but this one it, it looked really intriguing so this is the fox filter skin finish buildable coverage foundation stick this retails for 51 canadian dollars and it is a lightweight foundation that glides on easily providing customizable coverage with a natural looking skin like finish. coverage is full to light with i thought it was very interesting the finish is natural the formulation is thick and it's for all skin types so normal dry combination and oily this is a fragrance free foundation hmm transfer proof waterproof humidity and sweat resistant formula melts into the skin for natural filter finish whether you prefer full or light coverage this versatile formula will let you be the master of your complexion swipe it on set it and forget it for the rest of the day sign me up this is for our website i see over 38 shades i think 39 so when i went on to sephora to pick up my shade the iq whatever the test was broken it was not working for this foundation i was so annoyed of course they have the models they have the undertones i should be able to pick up my shade right easy hmm not the case i was <laughs> I ended up with a 310 G I'm already and I think this is fine you're gonna see in the demo of me applying it day one I didn't apply any primer this day I went ahead with a really light layer to my right side of my you know the face I applied it with a brush and it looked really nice then I went ahead and I did the same for the other side and you know it looked quite nice i had a really natural kind of day i am going to insert a clip at the end of the day of that day right now so you can see what it looked like after a full six hours of wear hey friends a quick check-in it is a day one of Huda foundation wear test and it is about five to almost six hours um, when I put on the foundation I wanted to show you what my face looks like and I think it looks really nice it is settled on my smile lines which foundations usually do that so I just went like this and it took care of the problem I think that every single product at top of the foundation looked really nice in person it looks extremely natural you can really see all my I have like some breakouts right here that this foundation was able can you see them now it was able to cover them but not completely which is okay it's more your natural but really nice and looking foundation um, I do have my texture here that you're able to see no problem my t-zone is slightly you know oily I didn't put on any primer for today to try it tomorrow we are going to prime underneath the foundation but this is six hours post um, post application I think it looks really nice and natural so that was day one six hours of wearing the foundation 
I really liked it. I thought it looked nice. I was shiny on my T-zone. I didn't apply any primer, so I said, you know what? For the next day, I am going to do a longer wear test and I am going to prime. So now let me show you how I applied the foundation today um, with a primer and what my first impressions and thoughts were um, today. Okay, right, friends, so let's get started. And for today application, I am going to be using my YSL um, Touch Eclat Blur Primer, which is um, sort of like perfecting, hydrating kind of primer. This feels really silicone-y, but very nice on the skin. And it just makes any makeup, you know, stick and wear nicely but it's, it is also hydrating. So this should pair well with her, you know, her foundation. She has a primer, but I didn't want to pick that up. Um, her primer claims to be a little bit like, you know, jelly consistency, just like, um, like the milk, which I don't really enjoy. So I am, um, I did want to stay away from her primer. So this is, the packaging I think it's nice I think she could have done a better job at making these not so thin and plasticky but I do like the aesthetics of the foundation um, I did pick up the shade Amaretti 330G and how I applied it just today and I think I was successful at it is just directly into my face like this I applied it with a brush yesterday as well I think this is really really nice and just easy to blend look at that two seconds pretty much it took for me to blend this foundation and this is what it looks like with that thin coat of it I think it's really nice the color looks a little bit dark but once it's you know settled with everything and the setting powder and everything I think it looks really nice the finish is um, just really natural I think but I'm just so shocked at how easy this is to just apply. This is gonna be for easy, easy makeup days. So look at that. It took, it takes seconds to really, you know, buff this foundation. And I'm gonna apply a little bit more just on my nose. I do have some breakouts, like current breakouts here in my chin. So I'm going to apply it a little bit more and just staple that in. But this is the foundation. Again, it just looks extremely, extremely natural. Um, but it never uh, looked makeup y when I applied it yesterday after I had it for a while. So I quite enjoyed these foundation so let me just have finish off the rest of my makeup and so now you saw those two days of application what do I think I think this is a really nice foundation I'm still gonna wear it for the whole day today today is really early it is a nine on a Sunday so I am going to you know wear it for the whole day and we're gonna find out how it works with this YSL primer as I mentioned I did not want to try her primer because that jelly primer just reminded me of milk I don't like that groupie milk primer so I didn't I didn't feel like trying another primer so I should be good with the YSL I really like how the YSL acts on you know a top of foundation and this is my face right now it's been about half an hour or maybe over maybe an hour because I was filming another video which by the way I'm wearing Rare Beauty from a little eye palette in Hmm, I like that. Anyways, I did apply some Charlotte Tilbury um, highlighter, which is, you know, more natural. I didn't apply a ton. I didn't apply any on my nose so we don't get extra shiny or oily. I don't usually touch my face when I apply my makeup. I, I literally forget about it. I don't know if I'm going to wear, be wearing a mask today. Today, I think it's a relaxing kind of day, so I don't even know if I'm going to leave the house. And that's why I decided to do a two-day because yesterday was same thing. I just stayed 
stayed here for six hours when I applied the foundation and I didn't go anywhere so I didn't think it was fair to do only those six hours and that's why I decided to do a full two days you know wearing the foundation I may go out and I'm going to purposely purposely apply a mask and I'm gonna let you know if it transferred or not the claims on this foundation are really really high it's claiming to be waterproof sweat resistant transfer resistant everything like that just like the NARS on NARS you get 1.5 fluid ounces of product and on Huda's you get only 0.44 ounces triple this is the true uh, transfer proof you know humidity resistant kind of foundation so I'm going to be comparing it with this one at the end of the day because this foundation wears really well with a mask so let's see how this beauty does today I'm going to come back as I said at the end of the day and just show you uh, what the foundation looks like but I'll bring you closer so you can see me up and personal hey we're here so this is the foundation and you guys I think it looks very pretty I do have some breakouts in my chin but it covered them really good I, I did go in twice so the first layer I could still see a little bit of redness on the second layer it was fine I think this looks really pretty it really looks filtery just like she's claiming that it is. I did apply her Huda powder both yesterday and today. This is a powder that I really liked. I've talked about this one. I recommend that it for myself for the Sephora sell recommendations. I think this is a great setting powder, but it is so scented that I hold my breath, I applied it, and then I can breathe again. I am so so happy that she decided to make this scent like fragrance free. Thank you, Huda. My goodness, this is so nice. Fragrance free, I like that. Anyways, I do love, I do love this foundation. It does look very nice and pretty in person. It does settle here on my smile lines. It did happen yesterday and it just, I just realized that it is settling right there. But this is something that happens it feels a little bit sticky. I guess I didn't put enough setting powder. I just really usually do a light dusting of powder everywhere. I don't go crazy with the powder. So I can let, you know, the foundation really be. And yeah, this is looking really nice. So I'm gonna see you guys at the end of the night for my final thoughts. Hey friends, and I'm back and it is uh, 1936 at night um, I did put on the foundation at 9 a.m. so 10 hours and a half since I placed my foundation and I have a lot of thoughts but they're really good thoughts like what do you guys think what this looks like I think it looks pretty good let me bring you in a little bit closer all right here we go so I did wanted to point out my nose I did wear a mask for a little bit like I don't know half an hour or so and it rubbed off on my nose so the claims that is transfer proof I don't I don't necessarily agree with that uh, my chin looks really good I do have those breakouts there but it didn't you know it didn't nothing it looks really good it didn't emphasize any of the dryness that I have going on I also wanted to point out that the foundation did said on uh, my smile lines which I mentioned um, right after I put it on so um, that usually happens it was not overly creepy I did want to say that the foundation um, around here it just feels a little bit tackier um, than here so I guess I didn't put enough you know around here of the setting powder here I have my blush bronzer and everything so that really helps to like lock the foundation a little bit more um but i do really like this foundation i really enjoyed it i think that is so so easy to apply so quick for on to go it looks very natural and nice in person i think that it worked very nice for almost 10 and a half hours i think this is pretty good my forehead is pretty much intact it doesn't look creepy or dry or it doesn't and emphasize any of my you know just a dryness around my mouth that I always look for on a foundation that they do tend to just look weird around my mouth when I have dryness mm -mm. 
This foundation wore really nice with this primer. So any primer, hydrating primer that you like is gonna do. Doesn't need to be that one, of course. And it doesn't need to be hers, but I'm pretty sure with hers, it's gonna be nice. Um, yeah, you guys, I don't know, not many more things to say other than I really enjoy this foundation and I think it looks very pretty. And yeah, I'm ready, friends. And that was it. That was it for today. Thank you so, so much for watching. Let me know in the comments what do you think of this foundation? What do you think of the finish? What do you think of the longevity? Everything about any comments, any questions, just drop me a comment below. This Sephora sale is coming really soon and I know a lot of you said that this is on your wish list. I think this one is a keeper it gets two thumbs up for me thanks so much for your love and support don't forget to share like and subscribe and i'll catch you next time bye